My wife and I were watching a little film on Noam Chomsky called Is the Man Who is Tall Happy? It's uh, made by a French filmmaker who, most of it is in the form of cartoons, but it's a conversation with Noam Chomsky. And Chomsky talks about the, for science to move forward, there's a need to be, the willingness to be puzzled. The willingness to be puzzled. In other words, being puzzled means that you don't know. You actually puzzle. It's a puzzle. When you have a puzzle, you don't know the answers. If you know the answer, it's not a puzzle. And I've been fortunate in that, that I, whatever, for whatever reason, and not always and not consistently, but by and large, I've been willing to be puzzled. And it's that curiosity and that openness and, uh, again, um, I could be, I could allow myself to be puzzled more often than I am, but if we never allow ourselves to be puzzled, we just don't move forward. And as long as we are willing to be puzzled, then learning is a lifelong adventure, you know, so age actually doesn't much come into it. And um, I think probably that's what makes my work effective with a whole lot of the generations. It's just that, you know, there's a willingness to ask the question, what's really going on here? What's really going on here? And if, if only people would keep asking us of that, what's really going on here? Uh, instead of assuming that we know and that the explanations that we've been given by society or, 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 or our parents or anybody may not contain either the truth or the full truth. If more people would be puzzled all the time, we'd have a much more fluid society. Well, part of what I'll say in a larger context is we shouldn't seek for closure. We shouldn't, uh, part of what the psychedelic point of view represents is living a certain portion of your life without answers. Just accepting that certain dilemmas will never resolve themselves into some kind of a of a complete answer. That's why psychedelics are so different from any system being sold, from one of the great elder systems like Christianity to the latest cult out of Los Angeles. These cults, these cultic answers, always invariably provide a complete set of answers to life's dilemmas at the price of being absurd but this doesn't seem to bother people. So part of what being psychedelic means, I think, is relentlessly living with unanswered questions. And this relationship thing, this is the heart of the alchemical furnace. This is where the coincidencia positorum is, is a fact in your life and, uh, and my life. And I don't know whether <clears throat> psychedelics make it easier or harder to come to terms with that. They certainly reveal its many facets uh, with, with incredible and sometimes bewildering uh, clarity. Yeah.